Welcome back. Episode 55 here of Pucks in Deep, James. How about it? I love it, man. Here we are, Matthew Capri. Thanks for joining the show today, man. Wow, what an no, it. Thanks, man. You just gonna jump the gun at the intro? Right? Yeah, yeah, he's right here. Let's get it going. All right, been yeah. waiting to get this thing going. All right, well, I, I had a nice. Let me let me redo the intro because I had a nice little intro here. Holy shit. We're right. doing great. Number 55 here, uh, you know, freshman forward for Arizona State and Notre Dame's worst nightmare. Yeah. Matthew Copperwood. Matthew, welcome to the show. Yep. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Fifth time's the charm. Here we see, go. See, how about that intro? Wasn't that better? It, that felt it, good. Yeah. No, exactly. That felt good. Uh, let, you know, I hate doing edits later, Matthew. So is there any shout outs you want to give to the boys right away? We'll just knock that out. I <laughs> mean, um, yeah. Uh, not that I can think of right now, but Ooh. I mean, no we cares. finally got it started 10 minutes later, the Zoom call, so let's get it going. <laughs> that is tough. That is tough. What about uh, an assistant captain by the name of Dominic Garcia? Uh, you know, Dom, Mike. Dom's a great guy. I mean, we're also in the same uh, uh, major, too, so he's a senior. I'm a freshman, so I get all his notes that are passed down to me. Oh, there you go. So that, that's clutch. So that's a big help out. Yeah, especially for this night right here. I mean, yeah, what a cappy. Did he give you any notes about the pods? We did have him on earlier this summer and just tore it up. He did so, tear it up. Big shoes to fill here. Yeah, no, he didn't tell me anything, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to try my best. All right, there you go. He also gave us a couple questions to start off with just to, you know, break the ice here. So we got inside source that, you know, you're big time. You know, you and Mancinelli love to just dance before the game, you know, get the vibes right. Is this true? And if so, who's the better dancer here? Uh, this is true. I mean, mm. we've gotten in trouble for it a couple times now, uh, <laughs> multiple times, actually. Ooh. Um, I'm Still the better going? dancer. Okay. I'm course. the better dancer. That's for sure. But okay. um, we were playing Minnesota as our second night there. Mm -hmm. We got waxed the first night, 10-0. I decided to dance. So yeah. we're, rooming, we're rooming together and we're like, maybe we should turn it down in the locker room today, like not do it so much. <laughs> And I look over at him, he has his headphones on and he's just vibing with his own self. And I'm like, oh my God, now I got to keep up with him. <laughs> you got it. So him. now we, yeah, so now we're doing it and he goes on scores that game and we still lose 10 too. So, nah. <laughs> but it, it worked for him though. It sounds like. It yeah, no, it's, it's definitely our thing. We're the most loose guys yeah, possible. All that matters is that you have yeah. fun. Yeah. Stay consistent <laughs> with it. You know, you can't, you can't second guess it. So I, I like yeah, that approach. That's not all bad. Forget that series, but you guys have won some games this year and you've been, you know, burying the puck. You know, what's, what's it been like just being you this year for ASU? I mean, you just, everything you shoot goes in. I mean, as a freshman, especially against Notre Dame. Yeah. Right. No, you're their worst nightmare. <laughs> but um, what does that mean? Yeah. Like for you, then? <laughs> yeah it is Notre Dame, but I don't really know. I, I, if you watch like some of the videos and stuff, I legit have my head in my stomach when I'm shooting without my eyes up at all. Hey man, sometimes that's all it is. Just a quick shot. Just get the goalie off guard and bury it. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, because they don't know where it's going. I don't know where it's going, so no one knows where it's going. <laughs> Except the back of the net. We know where it's ending up. I mean, <laughs> yeah, just throw her on that. I mean, puck's deep, but uh, I guess that's another thing. Dom credits himself for checking your tape job before every Oof, game. Yeah. Is that... Can we talk to us about that yeah. one? What happened there? Yeah, so before uh, um, the Ohio State game, I think I went four games without scoring. Ooh. And I remember Dom, he walks by me and he looks at me and he goes, he goes, you don't look so good. Let me look at your stick. So I was like, okay, what's this guy going to do to it? He like <laughs> looks at it. He like brushes the snow off of it. And he goes, now I think it's good. First shift power play score. Boom. Wow. <laughs> I mean, the captain just do it. It's the little things it's really, what yeah. do, really. I mean, you don't hear about. Okay. <laughs> so that's true with Dom there. He also called you Tyler to because you know, half your points are against Notre Dame, but uh, I didn't want to bring that one up. You know, <laughs> that's, we'll brush that one under the rug, but uh, you know, let's just talk about you guys have been on the road the entire season. I read 58 out of the 70 days on the road to start the season. Like how, I mean, how the hell was that? Are you, are you eager for the next 22 day road trip coming up here? She's just, eager. Yeah. Just <laughs> talk to me about it. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if eager is the right word. <laughs> I mean, the first 28 day road trip, all the boys were pretty excited. Cause it was like, now we get to go play again. We're finally going out. Right. Yeah. And go on the road. Yeah. And then about, I remember we got back to Tempe and it was like, all right, we're good. Christmas break. And then we're like, Oh my God, we have to go back out two more times. <laughs> and then, <laughs> 
it, oh, it, it finally kicked in. Like we like going out and playing, but the road, the hotel, the COVID testing every day oh. just finally wore us out. But I, I mean, are you, are you guys flying everywhere though? Yeah, we're we're flying everywhere. Okay, that's good. So that okay. means the bus, the bathrooms, not just like real. Well, actually, no. Yeah. When we're on the road, we're not flying. Well, you're just both buses. Oh, we're, that's a lot. We're of busing bus. everywhere, so like eight-hour <laughs> bus trips sometimes. Oh. So, <laughs> I mean, okay, we got to talk about the team bus here. How many guys? You got one or two buses? Uh, two buses. Yeah. Two buses. I mean, two the buses. bathrooms are ruined, but like, what do you guys do on yeah, the give, bus? Like, how many games do you got? What are you playing? Like, <laughs> give us some tips to survive, you know, long road trips with the boys. So we have a lot of nerds on our team, which you wouldn't expect. So we have a lot of guys doing true. homework. Hmm. Oh. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't think that from ASU, we have guys no. doing homework. Like no. I'll tell you, I'm not doing homework. No, good. That's a good start. But uh, usually uh, what goes on is uh, Walker in the back f- finds the mic for the bus. Oh, no. <laughs> and then so like you send him un- anonymous chirps and he just throws them out over the speaker. <laughs> Let's and uh, I remember we had this bus driver one time and he would talk to himself the whole trip. No, no. So walks, grabs the mic and he starts having a conversation with the bus driver and it's extremely loud. And he's like calling him by his first name and it's just absurd. <laughs> That's because I don't trip the guy getting to where he got to go. <laughs> yeah, he just stops it like Chris Farley. Like, I'll turn this thing around. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's got the C. He can't really do much about it. That's true. Okay. But oh, like nobody's that's... blowing up the bathroom or anything on the road. Nobody no, don't no want on their bus. Okay. Yeah, nothing at all like on that. The bus? I mean, who, who's all on the bus? Yeah, yeah true. Do you, there's a team split or is it all the guys on one and coaches on the other? Or? Yeah, it's players all on one, coaches on oh, the other. That gets okay. dangerous quick. <laughs> <laughs> really quick. Yeah, I don't think Powers would do with the uh, the trips of the bus driver. <laughs> one thing. All right. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Powers, here's a trip. We're getting out and running right there. <laughs> Stopping it's all done. <laughs> oh God! I mean, this is the last uh, season, though, for it, right? Like, what? When's construction for the new stadium supposed to be done? Yeah. Um, not next year. The year after. The year after. Oh, oh, shit. No okay, I was jumping the gun there. How excited are you for that, though? You know, you're going to be what a junior yeah. then. So, I mean, how pumped are it, you? It looks nasty. I mean, you see pictures of it and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And like we've seen, like with the locker room, is this supposed to be just just so. top notch and everything? <laughs> yeah. But then you have. Kids around ASU, so it's supposed to be with like our gymnasts and our uh, wrestling, and they're posting it on like the kids here are posting it on their Instagram story saying it's like their new rink and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just like, <laughs> we're just like, oh my god. Yeah. I uh, mean, does like with the season you're having right now? I'm guessing like you have a suite just reserved for you and your friends and family right now, or <laughs> how's coach setting that up? Yeah, I mean, I already got the box in my name, but uh, nice. yeah. do you no. do your homework? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who's doing another, your homework? Another good question. No, I mean, yeah, it's. I can't wait to go down. We're gonna shoot a video. Uh, hopefully, if you guys let us come down there and shoot a video with you guys for game day experience video. Once we got fans back and yeah, forks up, arena, forks up, baby. forks up. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's for sure gonna happen. Maybe a little locker room talk video with a couple players. Uh, I like that. Got it. No, but what's, what's it like on campus, though, just in general, in a normal school? I mean, obviously, you haven't been there, but, like, what do you think it's going to be? Like, what's the weather like? You know, is it a lot of distractions down there? How's it? What's it like? Uh, yeah, I mean, we it's it's warm here. We go to work out at 7 in the morning, or we're wearing shorts and T-shirt and flip-flops, God. which is pretty crazy. Today, it was yeah. 81 degrees outside. That's so, so nice. It's like zero here. We're in Minnesota right now. It's yeah. cold. Yeah, yeah like Minnesota's too cold. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's tough. But, yeah, and this guy opened the window right before we started the pod, yeah, so uh, yeah, feeling it get right now. <laughs> get us on feeling toes. good. My goodness. What about? Let's talk about that quote that uh, ASU posted of you about Notre Dame. Like, did they ask you that at like six in the morning or after a bag skate? Because that was the funniest quote I've ever read. <laughs> <laughs> so they asked. I remember that because I've been chirped from everyone on our team for it, and I didn't actually say that quote. Oh, oh shoot! See, we're not okay. like that. We get a quote, and we say it word for word. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> I was. Uh, I said something. They were like, "So what's it with this building?" And I was like, "I don't know." I, I was like, "I don't really know." I guess I just like playing here or something. And then they're like, "So your stick likes just the building?" And I was like, <laughs> "Oh, we can work yeah. that." I was wow. like, "Yep." Yeah, they so then they rearranged it. Oh my goodness. And then you just get ripped apart for it. <laughs> oh, shredded. I've had so many people message me for it. It's like, I'm just getting exposed for it. <laughs> that is This tough. guy doesn't go a day in the locker room without getting chirped. We got I mean, a quote game. No. Well, hopefully we can help clear the air with that one. I don't think that's going to be the clip quote that we post. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. we're not posting we, that We can't one. do that. But yeah, if pe- 
people listen to the full pod, they'll be like, just call the reporter. (laughs) The social media person. Yeah. I mean, Arizona State does, you guys kill it on the media team. Definitely top top three in the country, I'd say. Yeah. Well, the only team that throws like Drake background music to every video. In that sense, top one. Yeah. (laughs) I do appreciate those. But, you know, we should also talk about just, I mean, you mentioned Greg Powers already, like, and you've said in past interviews that the coaching staff is really what drew you to Arizona State. Like, you know, what is about Powers and the whole staff there that, you know, just brings out the best in the guys, gets you buzzing out there? Yeah. I mean, they let you play. They're not, they don't care if you like do crazy stuff. I mean, you saw walks through the Michigan. Yeah. Some, most guys on other teams would be too afraid to even try to pick the puck up. Mm-hmm. Right. And then I remember we were losing to Minnesota in the last game. I was on my last shift and I got a pass down from the point and I tried to go through the legs with it, missed it. And then I tried to pick it up and do the Michigan, went back down, <laughs> they scored. And uh, Powers got to the bench. He's like, yo, did you really just try to go through the legs and the Michigan there in one shift? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta oh, try man. it. I mean, yeah. So they just respect, you know. It doesn't well, matter what yeah. the score is. This guy's, you know, he's trying to end up on ESPN. <laughs> yeah, at that point, might as well. Oh, and man, just I not it. ESPN yeah. the other way. I yeah. mean, if that works out, I think you guys have a good chance of coming back. The boys just juice, you know, <laughs> like. Yeah, except Minnesota felt like they had twelve guys in the ice. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that'll happen too. But you know what? Good team. Tip of the cap to them. Yeah, they got it all this year. But they haven't been on the road for 58 out of 70 days. That's true. That is a so, great yeah. point. They're, yeah. they're catching us at the end of our road trips. Yeah. And yeah. we know what Must happens nice. back on campus. So I I don't blame you guys at all. <laughs> right. No. Yeah. And I don't think I, I was double. Let me double check the schedule here. But, you know, what's the plan for second half? You guys got Michigan State, Penn State, Michigan and Ohio State. So no Notre Dame. Uh, no. You know, what do you feel like reading that with not being able to play on Compton Ice Arena here? Yeah, I mean it's tough, but uh, <laughs> not so, ideal. <laughs> it's not it's not ideal, but I guess I'll get through it. And it, we know it's going to be our last eight games, so we're not going to. We're we might we're probably going to try a little harder. I mean, not saying we didn't try and like right. our last trip, but we're we're going to just right. know that it's coming to an end. So we might as well just give it all we got. Absolutely. And we play USA tomorrow and the next day too to help us prepare for that. So. There you we'll go. see how it goes. I mean, you guys are still playing to play, to play you know professional hockey. So there's obviously exactly mm-hmm. there's not no trying out there. It's always going no matter what. Yeah, um, yeah. gotta but, build you know, the tape. That being said, you guys uh, played a lot of Big Ten hockey this year. But you know, next year, what's you know the plan or what you know what's next season going to look like? Oh, I I really wish I knew. Supposedly, I mean, we're gonna have teams where we play like the best teams and then where we play the bottom end teams it's just going to be yeah. all over the map like our kind of like last normal year. Ind- independent schedule yeah. but i i don't know the games at all so i mean yeah okay Wait, we, we had to try that at a conference yeah because it's it definitely hurts when you say it, it hurts you guys you know come come pairwise and end of the year that you guys don't have a conference you think that hurts you or benefits you because you get to make your own schedule for the most part correct yeah, usually. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. So you get to schedule yeah, hard teams, but I mean, at the end of the day, you don't get a conference tournament to go say, hey, we win this, we're going to the tournament. We get the automatic yeah. bid, you know? So I don't know. What, what's your thoughts on that? I like, I wish we were in a conference. I mean, playing in the big, like, Big Ten, it's mm-hmm. pretty cool going, playing against Wisconsin and Minnesota and stuff. Right. And then, but I mean, playing against the independent teams, you get to play against everybody, you get to travel like different places. You're not going to the same teams every other weekend. So you're seeing a bunch of like new stuff and you're not going back to the same spot as normal. Yeah. Right. So that's true. There's both ways to look at it. What about, uh, besides, you know, playing at Notre Dame, what, what's your favorite barn that you've played at so far? I mean, I know there's not any fans, but what, uh, what other venues have you liked so far? Oh, uh, the other one, probably coolest was probably Penn state for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, imagine that thing packed. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Look at the next year. Well, we'll be packed rowdy. again. We'll have fans again. I mean, I don't know what your guys' schedule is for next year if that's out yet. But I mean, hopefully we have fans. But um, is there anywhere you really want to play other than where you've played? Uh, any- definitely Denver. Denver. I mean, growing up there, yeah. watched them my whole life. Yep. Yeah. So that'd probably be the coolest spot to play. Absolutely. Well, we hope sure. that happens. I mean, yeah. You guys will have some uh, tough schedule next year. From I assume. I mean, without having conference tournament, you need to have a tough schedule. Like, right. Yeah. Well, let's talk yeah. about, uh, you mentioned, you know, Denver is where you grew up playing. And then you also, I think spent, uh, from 2015 to 2019, you were playing in the BCHL and, you know, over in Canada for, uh, 18 U juniors. Like, what was that like? And, you know, why did you choose that before and had that last season at Dubuque before you came to ASU? Yeah. So, uh, my mom's Canadian. So I, we moved back up there when I was probably okay. 15 okay. and then I played midgets there and whatnot. And then 
I ended up making a BCHL team. And I never even thought about going to the USAHL or anything like that. So then, I mean, I committed my second year in the BC. And then uh, ASU wanted me to go play in the USHL for a year. Okay. So you're like, yeah, I'll go tear it up. Why not? (laughs) I don't know if that happened, but it was there. I think it was about a point per game, which in the USHL, like, that's something. What's the experience like in juniors, though, for you? I mean, what's away from the rink, at the rink, you know, going to school, not going to school? What's that like? Juniors, looking back on it, I wish I could do it for six more years. (laughs) Is that fun? Like, you just, it's, I don't know if it's that fun, but you just don't have to do school or anything or worry about anything. You just go out, you play hockey, and then on the weekends, you go to like a house party, and there's a couple girls there. (laughs) (laughs) There you go. It's just like, so it's just like, it's, you don't have to worry about anything in college. You get home from practice, and you're in class from 12 to 6 o'clock at night. Yeah. Yeah. And it's Zoom class. No. (laughs) Yeah. And then you just have to not worry about falling asleep with your camera off. That's tough. Uh, You know, yeah. When you say it like that, (laughs) <laughs> the boys are just passing around notes in the locker room like all right we gotta get this homework done and then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's tough uh, i mean yeah hopefully it changes and uh you know you'll have you'll be able to see girls in your class next year that's yeah nice. exactly exactly i mean you really hope for that if you're putting up 12 halfway through the season i mean yeah and arizona state i hear has a nice campus you know? <laughs> <Here's> a, <laughs> here they're friendly I don't know. good folk over there uh, forks up forks up that's, that's the way to put that's it that's all in that one <laughs> what's uh <laughs> <laughs> i throw you off yeah that really got me i'm sorry i lost my, i lost my track for my next question so there's one bone i gotta pick i don't even maybe you'll know this is coming but uh yeah, yeah. Who, who's the stats guy for asu <laughs> do we like who records who, it yeah who, who puts it on the website because i mean like you have a better chance at finding boardwalk monopoly piece than actually how like how many block shots <laughs> are for each player i swear to god it's tough it's tough we, 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 we want to get your number of block shots we're having a tough time yeah i got you you've got one block in your last two games each but that's it we don't have total and it's just that's actually pretty good i mean i would take that but uh oh, it's, it's solid i just want to know if, if it's consistent i don't know how many uh, where you are you looking at right now what website i'm, I'm like, on the arizona looks- state hockey yeah like oh yeah that one that one rarely gets updated what does get updated uh, <laughs> i don't shots. know but we actually just got like that you know from our coach with like our block shots win for right, well, like, yeah. do you want to cc us in there yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get me in that just man these. what do i gotta do <laughs> yeah but my block shots is usually i i'm more of like get my stick in the lane kind of oh, guy too, I'm with yeah, my yeah, ankles sure. That's yeah. fair. I, I mean, need my feet to get sometimes done those score, get recorded yeah. too. That's, that's yeah. a big thing. Okay. Uh, I was just, I remember that's what we really bonded over with Dom is the guy mm-hmm. eats pucks mm-hmm. and I could yeah, he does. check those. It's weird. It's it's weird. weird. <laughs> I got a, a good question for you. You know, can't, can't choose your teammates here, but uh, if you had to put Ooh. yourself on a line with two other guys in, in NCAA, who would it be? Ooh. Oh, uh, Holloway on Wisconsin and uh, that Ranta. Go for oh, Sampo, that yeah. rant of fella. Yeah, Caulfield's not like bad. Caulfield's good, but I think Holloway just when you watch him just looks better. <laughs> yeah, that's no, I mean, yeah, he that's flies. Yeah. yeah, Wisconsin's got some talent over there. There's a lot of guys with talent. Um, but no, I had, I was curious. We never asked that question. I don't think. What about uh, you know? That's something we did announce for. We only did ten guys. Should have included you on the post, but you know, you not being on the Hobie Baker with list uh, mm. for this year. Does that? What's your thoughts? What, do we have to beat some ass for you? Hmm. You know, tell us, tell us what to do. Uh, yeah, I mean, I definitely, yeah, I'm not happy about it. Right. I, I was told that I was probably going to be on it mm-hmm. and then oh. came out and it wasn't, but whatever, I guess. Hey, I mean, yeah, chip on nothing the I can do, Nothing I can do about it. Hey, I'll tell you what, I would not want to play against you your remain, remaining games of the season. I'll tell you that right now. Just go right. put it, go, go make a story for it. We'll be all over it covering it. I can guarantee you that. I mean. Yeah, I mean, how many goals do you have to score to get on that effing list? <laughs> Leading the league as a freshman? God damn it. That's tough, man. No, we're sorry about that. That's that's BS. But, uh, yeah. Hey, we're happy to have you on the pod and share your story here, though. Um, yeah, we'll call it out. We'll just say uh, Hobie Baker Watch 2021, 2022. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. On cover. We got you. But, yeah, I saw that. I mean, there's so many names not on that list. And there's so many names that I was surprised that are on the list. But that's yeah. all I'm going to say. But, I mean, it's. I mean, Sacred Heart getting three players. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> you know, we'll say that. But I, I, I wasn't gonna. Say, I wasn't gonna say that. But <laughs> but but it's sad. You did it for me. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. We can say that. I, I mean, mean, none of those guys have even eight goals. 
Yeah, or, or like Merrimack is three, I think. Like there's a lot yeah, of under 500 teams that don't have the points or, you know, the resume that you had. And then, and a lot to, of guys and then to F up the list, I mean, and now you put <laughs> Caulfield on there either. Like what? The, I mean, now he's yeah. on, but like. How, I mean. Or yeah, did they say that you had a chance of getting on the list after the mistakes were made? Like Caulfield and Holloway, you know, and Holloway had? No, I didn't. I I don't know. No, oh, it's just it's BS all, right, all the way. We'll, we'll do some work for it. it. Yeah, we'll, we'll bang out some doors. season. You know, um, yeah, see what I has mean, to happen. Get Dom yeah, on the case. Get that's what I mean. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk to Dom. That's really all. <laughs> he'll, that's, he'll, that's he'll, everything <laughs> he'll give you an answer. <laughs> <laughs> he'll tape up the twig. Just be like, all right, let's go fucking <laughs> beat some hats. For you personally, I mean, what do you think you have to do to to get to the next level after ASU? Make Definitely my right. speed. Yeah. I mean, you look at guys on in games and stuff, and everyone's extremely fast. And definitely my speed, my first mm-hmm. three strides. Once I can figure that out, I definitely think I have a good chance of playing pro. But mm-hmm. I definitely have to get way faster. Or uh, there's another question that we get. Or should we rip speed round? Or do we get into the? If you have a, if you have a question, rip up, and then we're gonna go speed round. Well, I was just gonna say, you know, for some like you've played in both the BCHL and the USHL, which one? You know, did you like more, or which one would you recommend? I guess for Ooh, players question, aspiring man. to go into college hockey. Um, I definitely think the USHL is a better league. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, I mean, a lot of guys in the BC are extremely good players that don't make the USHL just because they're not strong enough or whatnot. It's pretty much like a, it's like a different game almost. Yeah. BC is all offense, no, not really defense, and you show you actually have to. It's like almost like you're playing college. Yeah, yeah. It's both ways. You gotta be two way and ready to take an effort. What about hit. just a, you know, advice in general? What advice would you give to kids? You know, younger kids looking to play college hockey, NHL one day. You know, what would you say to them? I would definitely say just like keep working and if you can try playing the USHL and stick there. Yeah. If you can do that, you'll be set for college. You know, what, what age did you know that you were you know Division One bound? You know, had a good idea that you're gonna have a good chance at making it there. That that was always my goal was to play Division One. I. I mean, I realized probably through my second year juniors that I was going to have a good chance when okay. I played in the BC, and then just went on from there. Sure. Well, now it's worked out pretty well. I mean, but we are going to go to a speed run right now and see if we can get some yeah. more laughs out of this pod here. Let's cook it. All right. What do we got first? Uh, let's go. Uh, worst playlist in the locker room. I know we asked Dom. I forget who he said, but whose music do you not want to hear anymore? True. In the or in the bus. Room. Yeah. You know. Definitely, I've heard enough of uh, Walker's music. It's <laughs> just, it's, it's, it's like he has ADHD when he's playing music. He goes country and then it's to rap and you're just, you can't just keep up second with segments. It. Like, walks, just <laughs> calm it down. Going at the captain right away. That's a good <laughs> stuff. a shot. I like yeah, that. you can tell him. I mean, you guys are in Arizona. You get a little different weather to, you know, dress to, uh, walk into the game. But uh, what, who has the best eye on the team? Good question. Best style... Probably Michael, probably Mancinelli. Okay, Mancinelli. Okay. What is, what's he repping? Just new suit game? He, just, he goes week? like pretty casual, but it just looks clean. He wears like nice, like just plain white, like shirts with like a little bit of a logo on it. Mm-hmm. Nothing like that stands out too absurd. Okay. But just confidence. Okay. Sounds like. Yeah. How about uh, you haven't been to class in a month, you know, who are you sitting next to in class out of the team? <laughs> It sounds like Dom. Def- definitely Peter Zong if I want to get my homework done. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Peter Zong. <laughs> no, we got to remember these when we become students at ASU. <laughs> yeah, we should. Just put that up top. <laughs> what do you got? Uh, well, I was just going to say, I noticed you cut the hair and there's some serious lettuce in the picks back in Dubuque. Any chance that comes back? Oof. Good question. I... Uh, Wish it would, but I don't think Powers would let me. Yeah, but uh, it's hot at ASU, but I mean, it is. You have the year you're having. I think you're gonna get a little more things to slide for you. <laughs> All right. What about uh, go to video game with the boys? Like, are you big? I mean, you guys gotta be doing something on these road trips. I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh, Jack and chill. 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 Okay. okay. Yeah, I bring my Xbox and me and uh, Walks and Sanchez have a show team and we just play yeah. that all oh, day for hours. Play. Yeah. yeah. Now, now we gotta play. We'll we face up. Team, but yeah, we'll face up. We'll see how it right. lines up. What, what's your uh, what's your build in that? Are you like the same? Do you just make your exact self and just go off, or like? Yeah, a, I'm actually staring at my guy right now in five <laughs> nine, one sixty five, and a dangler. A dangler? I we I, I go sniper, but what, dangler's a nice. What, choice what's too. your uh, what's your player's name? Yeah, you're not using um, your, your own name. Mine's, are you? mine's Wheeler Wetflow. <laughs> 
It's a great question. Well, I, was, yeah. I, I had to know, man. Wheeler wet Can, flow. All right. We'll uh, be looking for you out there. Also, a uh, <laughs> quick question. Do you get to meet uh, Austin Matthews when he came down to ASU? Because that video is dirty. I mean, that was, I uh, yeah. never met him, but he was in our locker room as I walked on the ice one time, and he is humongous. Yeah. Yeah, just a big and fella. his thigh is disgusting. I mean, you imagine yeah, his thigh is through the, the roof. Yeah, yeah. Just that muzzy. But I mean, <laughs> how big of a plug is that for ASU to have Matthews and wearing your J in the locker room? Uh, yeah, it definitely helps us a ton with mm-hmm. social media and everything. Recruiting, like hey, Matthews comes and yeah, it's does not what bad. he wants here. Yeah. He skates with us, yeah. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Just but, that connection. I mean, level. I'm surprised he hasn't reached out to you. I mean, 12 goals, though. He will. So far, he will. The <laughs> leg's coming. The new Give leg. The, follow. the new leg. <laughs> Let's remember the new leg. What about who scores more per game this year, you or Wax? What do we got? What do you mean? Oh. Like goals per game. Uh-oh. Because obviously Walker missed some, so yeah. you're way ahead of him there. But per game, who lines up? It's so hard to keep up with him. It feels like when he has the puck on a stick in the offensive zone, it's just, it's probably going in the net, which is it's kind of, it's good for us, but it's terrifying what he can do with the stick. You see him going out there poking it away from him. <laughs> yeah, he goes on a breakaway, go offside. <laughs> that, now that's a chill move right that's there. A chill move that. <laughs> like, dude, I'm wide open and you just go coastal. Uh, just, uh, you gotta go offside sometimes. All right. What about, uh, what's the worst chirp you've ever got that you can recall? Move. Worst chirp I ever got. Could be good or bad. Just like one that stuck out, and you're like, "What the shit?" <laughs> yeah. So, so when I was in the BC, um, we were playing this team where I was from, and uh, they knew I was blind in my left eye. What? Wait, hold on. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> what? Yeah, <that's>... <laughs> How do you not get nominated? What are we like? Thirty minutes in. <laughs> We're just hearing this well, now? This, this, this chirp was absurd. So I was okay. like standing on the ice on my left side for uh-huh. a face off in the ozone. And the guy comes up and he like starts uh-huh. like takes off his glove and like he's poking me yeah. like on the side of my face. He's like, can you see it? Can you see it? Oh. And he's like touching me. And I was like, yeah, I can feel you. Yeah. I would have just dropped the mitts right there. Yeah. And him. Fuck I mean, this guy. Just one, one punched him. Yeah, yeah it was that was that was probably the worst one I've ever heard because it's just like stupid. What about you yeah. personally? Like, are you are you giving them on the ice or on the bus? I would. Yeah, you should. I I I chirp quite a bit. Like on our team, me and Mads are like pretty insane. What we do and stuff, we just really don't care. <laughs> but, like during, but but during games, I don't really say much. Okay. That's fair. Yeah, just uh, you know, let the stick do the talking. I'm still effed up about the eye. Holy nah, shit! Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's my crazy fact right there. We're on a speed my round, God. but uh, we got a couple minutes left here with you. But uh, who would you say that you know you compare your game to most in the NHL? Ooh, good question. Um, I will always try to compare my game like. It used to be to Marshawn, okay. Brad, just because like I liked how he played. Like I know everybody hates him, but like he scores he goals, yeah. and he just works extremely hard and doesn't ever like give up, and he's feisty. Yeah, he gets under the other team's skin absolutely, and he wins games. Yeah, yeah. He, he can score too. What about uh, you know you're not drafted? What team would you Ooh. or what line you what could you be sign with? Yeah, yeah, it could be the Bruins there, but who would you you know like to play with in the NHL if that day comes? <sighs> When it takes, when it comes, when, when it comes, when, to edit that out. Honestly, yeah. I don't, I'd be pretty cool to play in Toronto with Matthews. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. ASU connection. That would be dirty. We'll take oh you in Minnesota God. too. We're wild guys, but we'll definitely take you here. Once yeah. Help us, man. Please. <laughs> you like Kirill, nasty. don't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's good. There we go. He's good. He's right, good. We, got, we got that going <laughs> for us. The puck. We'll get some more. Maybe Jay Walks will come. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. Somebody. No, we'll get it going. But uh, no, man, is there anything else you want to talk about? Cook? We've got a couple minutes left. Yeah, true. I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Well, what about Chell? We'll have to get your gamer tag and set up. Do you have a funny gamer tag too? <laughs> we can bleep, 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 bleep it out. So no, not everybody. Yeah, my uh, gamer tag just. Okay, that's okay, clean. We'll bleep it out. But yeah, yeah you'll be getting an ad after the game here, after the pod yeah, here. Yeah. We'll go toe to toe. We'll go toe to toe. I like our I mean, in that game better than real hockey. So. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> I like the game too, except when Jackson has the puck there. It's just you never get it back from him. Ooh, <laughs> just that. <laughs> Did you, did you ever go off sides on purpose because of that guy? Oh, if he's if I'm on a break when he's not head manning, I just skate into the zone. He just comes off side by me. There you go. There you go. Just the connection. Hold well, Matthew, no end. We appreciate you coming on this week, man. We wish you the best of luck the rest of the season moving forward. 
Yeah. We'll definitely be in touch. Probably do another video with you. Keep us Especially up. When we come down to ASU. I mean, that's going to be insane. Oh, we'll take Got a jersey too. We're missing an ASU jersey, as you can see. Yeah, I was going to say you guys need an ASU jersey. Dude, we, we, want, hey, we we sent our email. We, we did, we did our out. part. So you do your part, and uh, we'll make it happen. <laughs> we sent our I'll email. Work, I'll, I'll, I'll work. I'll get you guys a jersey. Yeah, <laughs> sign J would be nice. Verbal commitment. <laughs> Verbal commitment. Verbal right there. We got you. I heard that Sun Devil hot. And uh, we know a guy on the Hobie Baker committee, so we're going to be sending a nice email pretty soon here. Yeah, that that's good. Okay, so we'll each do something for each other. There we go, man. I appreciate it, brother. No, thanks for coming on. And uh, yeah, no, we got the we got the chicklets bump today too. So a bunch of new yeah. followers looking at uh, your pod this week. So we're excited to get this out on Friday. Oh yeah, perfect, awesome. Thank right, you for brother. having me. Yeah, man, have a good night. Yeah, thanks, man. Take it easy. Yeah. All right, that was the man, the myth, the Matthew Copperud right there. Call me rude, boy, boy. What'd you think of the guy? <sighs> you know what? What a guy. What, what a, a guy. guy. What a story. Yeah. And can I just say right off the bat here? Committee of Hobie Baker, you screwed up. Yeah. You screwed up. Can't see out of one of his eyes. Doesn't look where he's shooting. <laughs> but yet he's buried 12 goals and has, what, six or eight assists this year? Right. And he's not a Hobie Baker, not finalist, but not even a nominee. I mean, are you kidding me right now? The kid doesn't quit either. They're down 10 to 2. He's still going between right the legs. Are he's you still doing right the Michigan. I mean, he just came out of pod. We don't even got an ASU jersey, but he's making it happen. So thanks. Yeah, right thank away. You, thank just you, Matthew. But, committed uh, to it. I mean, Austin Matthews has it. been texting him, asking him for tips about how to bury. Yeah, I confirmed. Mean, Multiple sources confirmed that, actually. He actually asked if he could switch his number. I mean, Matthews wants to be I mean, tw- right now. 28, 28 but uh, I think he requested 99 and for some reason was turned down. Yeah, I mean, I we got to fix that bullshit because yeah. it ends now. I mean, um, what else did he get? Uh, did he get the beam stall, too, in the locker room? At I guess. Like, just a this guy's had a tough start. There. I mean, I was happy to hear that he's got a... He's got the big suite and yeah. the new yeah. rank. And he finally, finally he was playing along with that right away. And things yeah. are starting to change for him. So mm-hmm. you'll center have to hear that. Suite. Um, yeah, I mean, what else can you ask for? I mean, I mean, as a freshman to come in and tear it up that much, 12 goals. Uh, You're only trailing the co- Cole Caulfield. I mean, he's that kid's all right. But I mean, well, in all freshmen in points, I think uh, Thomas Bordalo from Michigan is the only one. He's he, gross. He too, also has 18 yeah. points. Yeah. But I mean, besides that, <laughs> answer our DM. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Nobody's in, in the same you know stratosphere mm-hmm. as this guy for a freshman coming in and making that big of an impact. Like right. wa- Walker went down and Arizona State was right there in the beginning of the year. Yeah. Because yeah. of this guy. So I wonder how Wax is feeling. I wonder how Wax is feeling. I mean. This guy is the guy that sits in the back of the bus and chirps everyone, but uh, he's turned down two chances now to come on the podcast, yeah. and he's had Don, wow. the other captain, and now the top scorer come on the pod. So, I mean, sorry, Wax, we gave you the chance. Yep. He's, uh, I know he's, you're nasty, but... I think he's starting to hear footsteps coming up behind him. I think uh, he's just changing. waiting until he makes it. He's, make, he's waiting until he's on the, in the show, you know, and then he's coming True. on. Yeah, that's probably what it is. People but. are starting to say changing of the guard. Yeah. <laughs> Copper root, baby. <laughs> but hey, <laughs> I mean, just this guy, one, we, one we spoke of child tonight. This guy's going to be in, in the game pretty soon. Um, Facts. And uh, we'll have to see him on three on three. Now I feel bad. I mean, if he beats us and he's only using one eye in the NHL, I'm going to be rattled. I can't wait to play <laughs> this guy, though, in show. I mean, this guy, uh, if he's anything like he is in real life, I mean, this. I want him on yeah. my line. My my points are suffering this year um, in EA. But uh, true. That, that can, I mean, just I, free apples all day. Yeah. No. I can get the I can get the what's his what's his player's name wet flow I can get the wet flow bump here really quick in the point uh point we, category we are the wet flow bandits so <laughs> that's good but uh, yeah what a, what a pod there a lot of quotes we can take on I'm actually excited quotes, to edit probably, that one other than Sofo I mean I I had probably actually yeah. equal to the, the amount of laughs as the Sofo pod but uh, with a lot less uh, risque stories yeah and <laughs> we can expect probably an email from Powers this week but it, all in all is a fun yeah. one and uh, I, I swear we did no dancing before the pod or anything Mm-mm. Mm-mm. but uh, all business have, yeah all business and uh, no all overall a great pod and happy to have him on but uh, let's 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 cut back into last week and hear some great action in college hockey yeah so what do we got uh for the series that stood out for me i mean i guess one thing i wanted to say umd sweeping miami not just because i'm a umd fan mm-hmm. whatever <laughs> but uh that's big just for our pod guest swaney just yeah. obviously didn't wasn't phased one bit no. came out there scored just I mean, an it up on the missy. power play yeah, yeah. basically was a quarterback all weekend and uh dogs are they're rolling they are so rolling right now obviously me. you know it's february so this is the time the dogs really heat up they're out of the doghouse yep it's it's starting to get closer to playoff time and as we all know they are regular season for show playoffs for dough mm. and they're ready yep. they're ready to get after yep. it so i mean they're just cruising through the nchc and their schedule as we mentioned before it's pretty it's pretty easy compared to what they had in the beginning so no denver no nodak F- feeling pretty nice about that also in the nchc nodak splitting with nebraska omaha 
Uh, obviously, almost came back on that Saturday game, but Omaha played them good both nights. Yeah, yeah. Stayed in our top 10 with that. And no, definitely. I think they're going to stay there all year, but. Um, yeah, they're a solid team, and the NCHC has a lot of talent this other year. Other than that, you know, within the top 10, you know, back to another biased team here. Gotta hate saying that every week, but the Gophers uh, definitely I showed why. Beeves. Well, we're, we're getting to there. We're saying <laughs> biggest for last there, buddy. But, uh, okay, yeah. Um, no, the Gophers, another, another big sweep there and um, at, at Ohio State there, the Ohio State. Yeah, um, just took ran them down through pretty easily, them. but it's you know it was what five zip first night, five two second night, something like that, which was tough after we had Travis take over our story for. Ohio yeah, but he State. did a great job, and his TikTok went off. I mean, what else can you? Ask I mean, from he's the guy? he's still a stud. Obviously, they're it's kind of like a rebuilding year for them. They lost a lot of talent. Mm-hmm. Uh, our boy Carson Meyer moving on to bigger, better things. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I mean. Gophers took care of business there as they should. Another, I think I predicted sweep there, not to brag. Oh, We're going to start recording our picks and making sure that they're lining yeah, up because yeah. as we were fighting we before gotta... this, I'm going to F you up in my picks. Not to brag, also predicted a Wisconsin sweep and you said split. Oh, yeah? Well, I recall you saying split. How and they, they just, how, you know what? They freaking ran. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. 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 How did that sandwich <laughs> taste? <laughs> how was yeah. that burnt sandwich? This I mean. asshole burns my Subway sandwich. Yeah. An hour before the pod and acts like we're going to be friends. <laughs> I mean, believe that. And maybe I should start doing it every weekend because this pod really turned out. It did fire very me well. up. I mean, I'm excited to see what comes out of me. I, I shouldn't say that yet. You still have to make your pick, so it could get ugly, folks. But I mean, yeah. let's, let's one more couple games. Uh, I want to recap the UMass UMass Lowell series, big rivalry. That was a there. big sweep. UMass snuck out on, I believe, on uh, the Saturday night game, uh, but definitely got the best of them with the five zero win. The first. What are you time. going to touch on the team five you one really one. want to talk about? The Beavs. Yeah. Yeah, it was 5 It was 5 0. Um, huge week. Huge week. And there's only one game. <laughs> only one but game. Uh, <laughs> huge week. It is a huge week <laughs> because you take the Monday practice, Tom's territory is okay. high, you know, game high glass chip, pops up and well. deep, yeah. And you continue to do that throughout the week. They're actually scheduled to play LSU. And then to switch that and go say, hey, you're playing the number two team in the country. Without Dryden McKay. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't give a shit. They still have the best, one of the best offenses in Driscoll's facing those shots. Well, he wore 36. Fair. Fair. 36. I got a picture of his jersey after the game. It was black. They wore white jerseys. It's that never night. good when you get outshot 36 yeah, to no, 11 or no, whatever Shout out to my boy Driscoll. They, they got it done. Drizzy is, uh, yeah. Spongebob, Hobie candidate. Spongebob's the guy. Hobie candidate. Um, well, maybe I don't think no, he's Mike not, Richter but, candidate. Yeah, that's for sure. There it is. Um, but a huge win, nonetheless, by the Beavs, beat the number two team in the country. Shout out to my mm-hmm. Beavs. Um, 4 1 win there. But uh, man, that Owen Sillinger kid's having a year. Guy, he just keeps every, every every box square. I check his name's right there. What about A. Milsey? I saw he had an apple. Yeah, no, he's got great style on the ice. Definitely a locker room guy, shower guy, everything. The guy, he gets it done. Ricky Rubio look alike. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, Jersey's having nine. a year between the pipes. Yeah, but uh, no, that's you know. Other than that, what other series? Do I we had have a to couple cover? more. I mean, Notre Dame, Penn State. That was a hell of a series. That's yeah. I, I watched I mean, that a one. A split there. They went toe to toe. Was it OT both nights? Yep. I want to say just uh, yeah. Wow, nice clips we got from Big Ten. Shout outs to our partner there. Um, yeah, kind of what you expected. I think I predicted a split there too, not to brag. And I, I liked what Penn State did. I mean, they're competitive both nights, kind of rammed them the first one. <laughs> so I think Penn State for me, they were at 20 this week and I got Notre Dame at 21 in our rankings. But yeah, I mean, teams that could be there, they're going to have to win the Big Ten tournament. I don't see either of them doing that. Limoges just continues to put on for his city. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's all I got to say for that. Uh, another couple of more series I wanted to touch on Bowling Green over Michigan Tech. That was a big one. I think Michigan Tech power rankings for USCHO was at 18. And Bowling Green, Sweep City, our boy Cruz getting on the map again. He was a little and upset. in our DMs, yeah. A little upset they didn't move. Not happy about that one. <laughs> a lot of teams swept this weekend, Cruz. I'm sorry. But, yeah, I was still impressed. Still yeah. impressed. How about he's Northern, always got something to say. Always. How about, how about Northern Michigan? Yeah, what about dog. Yeah, that's a big, that's a big sweep. City. And how about that batter up little TikTok little video we uh, made? That was a gross uh, goal. Uh, uh. Yeah, I and mean, my, my new least favorite team, Ferris State. <clears throat> uh, I mean, did they take my post, use my caption, and not tag me? Maybe, 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 and then maybe they got swept, and then maybe they lost yesterday too. Okay, okay, let's <laughs> tone it down just a notch right, there, yeah. buddy. You hate to see Fuck. it. You really hate to I see mean, it. They're having a great year before that. Yeah, no, they. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to cut this whole thing. No, we're not. That's staying. All right. So uh, another. let's go to a couple more series. UConn sweep. I <laughs> yeah. want to mention that. And then what else we got? RIT, Will Calverly. What's up? AIC sweep. You I know. mean, Willie, I can't, he, the buddy's just having a year, too. I mean, he just keeps he won't the stop. in the back of the net. How about him not being in for the Hobie? I mean, just the boys dropped it, and they dropped the ball. And next year, I think it's just easier if we just make it. We make the nominees. I was literally the making. Only problem, we're going to go up based off shot blocks. Yeah. <laughs> shower <laughs> guys. <laughs> Whether you use shop blockers or not, how many and muzzies? muzzies how many smelling fun. salts you use before and after the game? Mm-hmm. And uh, obviously TJ's because that's an important piece too. As, as you yeah. see, copper. I mean, true. Buddy berries because 
uh, Dom checks his TJ there, but uh, yeah, I, next year I'll take I'll take the. I I'll was literally the making because we're doing a Hobie Baker contest. Mm-hmm. Still about to come out yeah, here. It is about to come out. A little little sneak peek shout out right but there. But I was making the correct list, and then this freaking just. I know I compared the two lists. I was like, which one's right? Out. I was so confused. I can tell you one thing: Sacred Heart didn't have three candidates on my list. <laughs> <laughs> they did not. They had one. And they deserve, every team they, had one. They deserve, every team, every team, every deserves, team one. deserves one. Yeah. You can you can so. quote me on that. I will run for president of the United States mm. on that mm-hmm. slogan. Yeah. But not every team deserves three, James. No, they don't. They, they don't. Just and, don't. Uh, oh, God, it pissed me off. Maine. I love Maine. Three and that, candidates. And that, and that really grinds my gears, too. Uh, you know, take from family guy here, like Silly or Driscoll, my boys at Bemidji. Yeah. Give them just one. Just one. Just one. I was had, so glad. The last guy, I think we had Bitzer. At our goal. Just like, come on, man. No luck. I mean, come on. It took you just beat number five and number two in the country back to back weekends. You're not going to give us one. Yeah. One. Well, and the Gophers had one to start. Did they get fixed on that? I don't even know. Yeah, I know Wisconsin got it. Yeah, Laffer's got it. And, you know, Wax right there. Ranta's not on. Like, I get Laffer's a tank. I mean, and they could have like seven candidates, but you have to still choose eight. two other. Yeah. You have to give them three out of respect. Yeah, why not? So they, they fumbled the bag there, but we will pick that bag back up. We mm. also had another big week at ECH. Let's just recap that quick before Master. our predictions. Mm. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Massive week. There we Massive go. week. There we go. Um. So, yeah, yesterday, just to recap, Butchergrass saw... Saw yeah, the man. fellows and was like, oh, what's, I mean, first he tweeted something that I made, John Leno cover, didn't tag us, wasn't happy about it. And boy, did the tides turn there quick yeah. and it has ran into the day. But uh, So I decided to send him four covers of Cole Caulfield. Ever heard of him? I heard of that kid. Yeah. Kyle Gucci. Mm, yeah, yeah. Not, uh, Dakota, heard, yeah. What about Odin Tufto? Heard of him? Podcast guys? Yeah. yeah. Brandon Cruz. DMs. They all ring the bell. Yeah. yeah. So uh, <laughs> I got 26 more of these big mother efforts for you, Butchie. What gives? It? Retweets that. Yeah. Then he says, how about Paul Korea? I almost shit my pants. I didn't have that one made. No. Had I mean, to, we should have. That's on us. But yeah, I had to just spit that one out. He loves it. Yeah. Yeah. Why gives us yeah, stick taps and glove bumps. Mm-hmm. That would have. And I thought that was going to be the end of the week. No. No. But and then, then, then oh, another tweet came out like later, didn't it? it? I think it did. Yeah. So then I, I also ended up, you credit to you. You told me to make a Ryan Whitney cover. Yeah. Didn't oh. have that one done yesterday, but I did it. And then it sneaks into a spit and chicklets post today on both platforms. Our first one from, from the chicklets boys. And oh, uh, my huge God. shout out to you boys. Thank you. Um, I think we've gained 400 followers in the past six hours, seven hours. Yeah. I it's, mean, uh, my phone's never blown up more. I actually felt important. Yeah, you you would have thought that I ate a whole box of blue chew chewables. I mean, yeah. just <laughs> scarfed them down. Jeez, okay, we're gonna cut that part right there. <laughs> no. But uh, yeah, that I'm saying the boys have been buzzing. That part's going for 48 I mean, hours. Yeah, shout out to Pink Wet. I mean, that part's going, but we bring up some booze. <laughs> that part's going, but the boys have put putting us on for two years, and they're helping growing the game along with Butchergrass. I mean, facts. What 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 a week it's been so far, and it Huge hasn't even started. I mean, it has started, but like we still got. Wisconsin video coming out, mm. which we've been saying, but are really, they, we really put more edits into this thing. Are they and top 10? It doesn't matter. No, they are. Oh, they it's are top 10. 10. Sorry to me. I'm sorry, Cole. Um, <laughs> but this video is coming out and we are just adding the finishing touches to it. I just, yeah, it's been redone a couple times, but that's coming out. We so got the Hobie what? Baker award Woo. tournament coming out. Courtesy of boy. I mean, we I might got, have made we're some working hits. on it. We need some more submissions. I don't know. I haven't checked our Twitter, but we're looking for a couple more, but flow tournament coming out for the end of the year. Mm. I mean, we're also planning to hopefully get to a school this year. COVID, you know, we'll see what we'll see what that what that's Frozen like for four. COVID. But Frozen Four, we're we're working on that. Might have a big guest for that one. Yeah, yep, yeah, we might. We, we might. might. Um, a couple more big guests coming on. Not gonna maybe big, maybe a show guy, maybe a big two, name. Big name. maybe some Hobie finalist. Um, yeah, they'll be coming on the podcast. I mean, a lot of things. You know, looking great, looking up for uh, ECH here, but facts. All in all, after this great, it's gonna be tough. I would not want to be on next week's pod because this is gonna be a tough one to follow up. Very tough. Yeah. I mean, you must just feel like an asshole if you can see out of both eyes. Yeah, honestly. I mean, pff, I do right now. Yeah, yeah. I started laughing <laughs> at him. I laughed at him right away. I mean, I thought he was kidding right at away, first. Yeah, I, mean, I, just, I was like, no, he's not, and he's that good. I mean, all right. He was a little pissed to start the pie. He's like, boys, you got to get together. Yeah, like, we understandable. Up like Ten times. I mean. <laughs> It's been a tough day. It, it, it was a long day. Don't you know? We still have full time jobs. I have two. I have two yeah. other jobs other than ECH. By the way, I was up at five in the morning. And got happy about it. Plus working at a job too. I mean, it's well. Let me just give a quick shout out to the last job I lost for not being a good enough graphic designer. Yeah. And then spitting chicklets post my stuff today. Yeah, that's great shit. I mean, talk about a comeback story. You just love to hear. I it. mean, yeah, that's yeah. Mom, I made it. Not mm. not yet, but not, we're yeah, not even close. We're yet. We got a lot of work to do, and you're gonna yeah. see that. 
Um, Basically, I'm set up at the it's, blue it's, line. At the end of the day, I'm it's not about us, it. though. It's about the fans here, and yep. we got to keep po- reposting this shit and Facts. getting it out there because the game needs to grow. Imagine what it can be next year. If mm. we had 100,000 followers, college hockey's popping. Honestly, you, you can't say you're a player and don't want to be featured on the page. Like, I won't stop. Everyone's pulling a copper route, and you're trying to go Michigan between the legs every shift out there because you want to end up on ECH. Exactly. I mean, no, just uh, that. Gotta highlight though, everybody. We, yeah, we want everyone's in. You know, every team's social media to just keep just keep getting better. Facts. Follow people hate ASU, people. Mankato, like those. The Gophers, all Big Ten teams, but just follow those guys' lead and spend the extra money because it's worth. It's growing the game. Um, it's been. It's definitely been fun to watch, even through a COVID season this year. So. Yeah, I can't wait till fans are in the stands. The Teletubbies are back there for Quinnipiac. Mm. I mean, everybody's just going nuts. Mankato. I mean, remember we went to the Mankato game against Lake State in December? And it was a Saturday still right. game, and it was basically sold out. Yeah, I mean, I get, State. I get, I get, yeah, he's there, in the building, and but, God, he looks good. Mm-hmm. But I mean, they were gonna win that game, yeah. and everyone's like, oh, I want to see it. Michaela's Parker, like. I mean, just are they good? I mean, Nathan Smith's still on that team. I mean, just yeah. top to bottom. Yeah. Nasty. So, and still, it almost sold out. So that can happen in every venue. Oh, shout out, Rip. Yeah, Rivera, too. Obviously, Cappy. Yeah, I can't forget him. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting to find there. But well, it, I mean, make, make sure you got Tombstone in there. And that's, oh, that's big. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so, I mean, that, that should happen in every barn. And we're not going to stop till the, I want every fan that was at the. Man, I just want barns packed next year. Just packed. You're going to interrupt me? And yeah, I'm just pissed <laughs> right now that there's no fans in there. Yeah. Like, I'm pissing me off at Cornell. I don't get to see a Cornell student section this year. I'm there's not, I'm not because, because they, don't like send me, they didn't send us a jersey. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Still mad about that. Liz missing a lot of red in their stalls right lot, here. Yeah, I there's so many red, teams that could be represented here, and they just aren't. Why not? It's free. And it's not. It's not free. It's definitely it's not, cost the yeah. jersey, but free ads. I mean, for the for, people. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you never have to pay for it again. For an ad space in our show, you send us a jersey. And what does it cost you? The cost of one stick? Right. I mean, honestly, God. I mean, what, and whatever. <laughs> All <laughs> right, right, moving on. Should we cover uh, let's games go next coming week. up this week? Yeah, let's get next week. We're going to get our picks here. because apparently you said you're going to beat me in picks this week. Remains to be seen. It might happen. Who knows? It's been pushed back a million times. God. Boston College versus Boston University. Who you got? I'm going to go split there. I'm going to go split for sure. You're going BC split. is number one, number two in the country, in my opinion. They're going to stay there. But BU has been hot. They're pissed. They can't play. They need to get enough games up to make the tournament they to be eligible. But to get these in, regardless, BU is going to take one away. Yeah, I'm going split there. I love both those teams. Are so much fun to watch. Mm-hmm. I mean, BC I think is the better overall team, but it's just because BU hasn't had enough. They can't play together enough. Right. I mean, they're so fast. They have the talent. Ference is a monster. Mm-hmm. I want to see this happen. I'm just excited to watch. But yeah, I'm going to go split just because I want both teams to win. Next one, let's go Mankato Bowling Green. Who you got? I'll go split there. I'm going sweep city. Mankato. Oh. Mavs are pissed about losing to the Beavs. Dryden be. McKay is going to be suiting up both nights. I love Bowling Green, but Cruz, you come in my DMs like that. You're asking to get hit. So I, I don't know. I'm I don't know. I, Cruz know. could still beat my ass somehow. So yeah. So <laughs> just shoot him. Okay. Yeah, okay. Just stop. Cruz just stop. Could still no, beat my stop. ass. Just stop. So I think yeah. I think the decision not to play. I don't know if Dryden what was going on last weekend, but you know this is decision not to play Sleeping him on if the he's beeps. healthy. That's yeah. Never sleep on the. You beeps. don't want to do that. You don't. But Mm-mm. I think that's gonna piss him off. But I'm definitely taking the split because Bowling Green's got way too much talent. They've lost a couple of games that they should. You know, they got swept by Bemidji State. They yep. lost one to him earlier. They've lost a couple other games. Not really, but like I think they lost, lost one to other Robert game. Morris as well. So, I mean, I mean I'm taking for sure team. Bowling Green. They're going to win the first night and Mankato's second night. Just add some points to it. They'll lose All to right. Mankato's second night. I'm but. excited to get a free uh, pick over you because of that one. Okay. What about... Uh, you better back me up, brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about Nebraska, Omaha at Denver? At Denver? Yep. I really like how Nebraska's playing, um, but I think Denver's desperate for a sweep this weekend, so I'm going to take Denver's sweep. Really? Yeah. I'm going to go split. I, I do agree Denver's scrappy. They haven't played in a week. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they need be healthy. Maybe two weeks. Go. Yeah, I, and you know they're both really good teams. I think Omaha takes the first one. Denver's extra pissed second one. All right. Split city. Let's go uh, matchup of the weekend here. Game of the week um, for you. Yeah, brought to you by Triple D here, actually. We're going to team Ooh. up with them for matchup of the week. Love that. Uh, yeah, we got the Badgers versus the Gophers here. Yes, that's the one. 3M Arena at Mariucci. Who do you got here? I'm going to go Gophers sweep. This is coming after I, I love you, Wisconsin. I picked you for a sweep last week. You backed me up. Gophers are pissed. They've been mentioned a million times for losing one game to you guys. Mm-hmm. One effing game. Yeah. And it just went nuts over social media. Gophers are going to I mean, you saw what they did to Arizona State. You saw what they did yeah. to Ohio State last week. Yeah. They're going to be pissed. Gophers sweep. Gophers are hot. I'm going to hate saying this, but I'm going to take a sweep, but it's going to be really close, like one goal games. Yeah, I'm not saying they're going to be bad games. I think one, they might blow out. 
No. It's I think one, they're going to blow down out. Down to the wire OT games, I'm right. thinking. But I will take Gopher Sweep with you. Yeah. Um, Wow, way to be original. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, just be, man, I don't want the boys blowing up my phone and just ripping me apart. That would be terrible. I, if I, I just feel it. I but feel if I got it right, I'd love to have a game on you. Absolutely. 100, yeah. 100, 100, 100 times a week. Okay. What about, but, you can pick next. Or no, uh, you pick that one. How about I go? Yeah. Um, let's go Northern Michigan. Or not Northern. Michigan Tech Huntsville. Oof, Huntsville. Split. <laughs> you, want, you want to split there? Yeah, I'm going Huntsville first game for sure. <laughs> I love Huntsville, but I'm going Michigan Tech. Okay, Huntsville. <laughs> okay, Michigan Tech sweep. You're going split? They're, split, they play split, two. split. Yeah. play two. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay, well, that's nice. I'll go sweep then, Tech. What about uh, we stay in the dub shot here, or where are we going? Uh, we can go any. I've just been jumping, man. I'm sorry right. about that. My uh, boys, uh, but my, my boys at Bemidji for State. Bemidji Fair. Oh, sweep. Yeah, Bemidji <laughs> okay. sweep. LIU Robert Morris. Now LIU coming talking. off that one bad game. Game against. of the week. Not bad, but game of the week. It was, it was an exhibition, but uh, you yeah. know they're coming off that. Now they get a crack at a real game again. Is it two? They're playing two. Um, I th- I thought it was two. I thought I read that. Let me look. Did at I it. read that right? Robert Morris, that's one. Yeah, they're playing two. Okay. And it's at Robert Morris. Dude, I'm going Robert Morris sweep. I I love Metcalf. He's he will murder me in my sleep. It's just gonna happen. I've accepted it. No, it's not. I'm gonna go Robert Morris sweep. Okay, I'm going LIU sweep. Really? Yeah. Todd, you just wanna lose. No, no man. man. Metcalf is pissed right now. Shuddy coming. Watch he's, out. Uh, I don't care who he's there's got some he's they got some goal scores on Robert Morris, but Metcalf and LIU, they're coming with a chip on their shoulder. They need a sweep. Here they come. Okay. That's my pick. I think they need a lot more than the sweep to make the tournament. But I don't yeah. care. They need a sweep right now. It's okay. one game at a time, buddy. One game at a time. Damn right. That's fair. <laughs> uh, what about... Quinnipiac, St. Lawrence, who you got? Uh, it's Quinnipiac sweep. Tough dough. Ty Smil- Smilanic. Ever heard of him? Yeah. yeah. They, they, they need yep. to heat up and get in this tournament automatically here. I'll take Quinnipiac sweep as well. Bang. Um, New Hampshire, UMass Lowell. What do you got there? Uh, New Hampshire is getting back Angus. I think he was back last week, but I mean, obviously, your first one back after being out for a while. Mm-hmm. You're not 100%. I'm going to go split. Yeah, a fully healthy Angus. I think we're going to see Crookshank at his full form. I mean, you know, that's like an effing Charizard on steroids. Mm-hmm. I'll go split. I will go sweep New Ham- New Hampshire. Really? Yeah, I'm feeling. Yeah, yeah like you're, you're I, loving some sweeps. It's it's the weekend for sweeps. We've seen a lot of splits this year, but yeah. Let's cover a few more games here. I'm going to say I just want to mention Duluth is hosting Miami this time. They took it to Miami at their own barn last week. Uh, yeah, Duluth is going to sweep. <laughs> okay. What are you thinking? Yeah, Duluth. Okay, that was an easy one. How about uh, Mittens hosting Northern Michigan? Sweet Mitts. Yeah. All right. So we need we need to get some differing opinions here. What about uh, Western at St. Cloud State? That'll be a good series. St. Cloud sweep. Really? I'm gonna go split. All right. That's fair. You really want to wrap this up? All right. Niagara. No, St. Cloud. I'm just. I, I have it in my head. St. Cloud wow. needs a sweep after last weekend. So this guy's fighting. Okay. All right. Uh, our team Mercyhurst. Let's go. Uh, that's a big one. The house that Johnny built. It's at Mercyhurst here. Yeah. That's. I hate to go against. I love the Lakers. You mm-hmm. know I do. But RIT, man. RIT sweep. I love Will Caverly. Yeah. He's heating up. But I'm going to stop you right there because my boy Hank is still between the pipes and Mercy Harris. Yeah. I'm going to take a split right there. And mm-hmm. uh, Johnny's going to grind the Lakes. I mean, Lakers hard here, and they had a team takeover for the women's team. I did make that Bendorf cover requested mm-hmm. by his dad yesterday. <sighs> well, Dave? It's Mike, I think. Mike, just thanks, <laughs> what Mike. What a guy. Yeah. And uh, that got us a follow from Mercy Harris. Absolutely. So, there you go. You love to hear it. <clears throat> uh, is there any other series you want to mention? I mean, no, man, that's, that's really it. But uh, yeah. Sorry yeah. if your team... Or, okay, let's go Notre Dame, Ohio State. Oh, wow. We didn't do that one? Yeah, okay. I just okay. saw that one. Are, ooh, this is a big one. Who are you going? Ah, you're going to put me on the spot. I'm going to say Notre Dame sweep. It's at Ohio State. Yeah. I'm I like, like Notre Dame bouncing back both of them. Really? Even though, I mean, they're coming off a win, I'm so going, it's not really I'm a bounce going, back. I'm going to split. I'm going to go split. Okay. So there we go. We got the picks of the week here. Picks of the week. Hold Merrimack it. Providence. We didn't do that one. Okay. Uh, well, if Providence puts Adams in the lineup, we're hmm. going to go sweep. sweep. Right. But if they not, don't... We're going to go well, sweep. we got to pick one or the other. Well, I'm going to go Merrimack. <laughs> takes one from Providence. You think so? All right. Yeah, Providence is rolling. That's my upside of the week, Merrimack at Providence. But that's a wrap. Book it. Yeah. Here. So, yeah, it is National <laughs> Girls and Women in Sports yes, Day. Yes, So we want to wish you happy that. We did just tweet. Butchie Grass even represented us. Yeah. Tweeted out On Darryl. a tough day for women's hockey at the NWHL. Canceled yeah. their season. That's some BS. But not hey, what you want to hear. It's still national. You know, we're thankful for the game. Thank that it's growing. We're doing our part. That You know, most we can do to, to, to build that. But, uh, yeah. And it's easy with Daryl Watts just taking over for Wisconsin. They are still the number yeah, one ranked team cover. in the country, if you forgot. Yeah, they're there. And uh, yeah, she is a wagon leading them in points last year and this year. Yep. Uh, yeah. So shout out to her. Shout out to Butchie. Shout out to women everywhere. Thank you guys for doing what you do, being in the game that we love. And let's just keep growing it. You know? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> As for episode 55 of Pucks in D. 55. Yeah. Wow. Matthew Caparud, thank you for coming on the podcast. Mm. It, hell of a podcast. 
You guys are going to tune into it. Um, available yep. on our YouTube. Please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes. We need it. We need to grow the game. That's the number one way to do it. Subscribe to that. Share it. Everything. Everything college hockey and Instagram. Um, Team ECH on Twitter as that's blown up this week. Everything college hockey on TikTok. Facts. We're everywhere. Hit them all. Support the boys. Support the game. Let's grow it together. Let's make things happen. Thanks to Butchergrass and Spit and Chicklets for plugging the boys this week in college hockey. Huge. Let's get her going. Thelly, we got one more thing to say. I just want to say, if you guys love this pod, on we definitely get more plays for the audio, yeah. which is which makes sense. But also, I throw in so many effing clips. You want to relive yeah, you definitely everything want to see this. Yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, it's good. It's there. I spend hours on I this. Mean, you're, seeing, you're, seeing, you're seeing you're seeing you're seeing gameplay and everything yeah. on on the video that we're going along with our talk. Like, Plus audio that's not even in the pod mm-hmm. for the, just because it's with a YouTube clip. You know, so right. it would make sense if you couldn't see it. Mm-hmm. So I'm just saying. There's some good stuff there. Maybe you don't have time. That's cool. But if you want to check it out, it is there. So, yeah, thank you guys again for watching, for listening, whatever you're doing, liking the page. Let's grow the game. Let's get Pucks in Deep. Episode 55, Pucks in Deep. Thank you, fans. Tune in next week. Another big guest. That's a wrap. Guy, Miss Frank. We need fucking Frank. Where's Frank? 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 Where's Frank? He's never here. <laughs> I mean, it's like he doesn't care about us anymore. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, baby, take it, 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 take it